The Radical Revolution continues. Phil Cardinelli here to introduce you to a new member to the all-time hide-and-go-seek championship of the world family, the Squatch Hybrid. With the Squatch Hybrid, we have combined all the characteristics of the original Squatch and the Squatch Solid to give you a new Squatch dimension. The Squatch Hybrid is a perfect addition to the Squatch family, combining all the great performance and the fantastic shelf appeal you have come to love with the Squatch. I'm sure you want to know what the oil pattern is. Easy. That's the pattern. Frobot allows us to mimic any bowler in the world, so we invented our own to best show off our products. Okay, it's time to meet our crew. Meet Brittany Spares, a low-speed, low-rev player who loves playing second arrow. Mark Zuckerberg is a tweener that hits the pins as hard as he hits the books. Tiger Deadwoods masters all the patterns in a dramatic fashion. He avoids the traps normal players fall into. Ed Sheerhand jams, perfect pitch every time, a radical one-man show. When the original Squatch is a bit too long and the Squatch Solid is a bit too soon, the Squatch Hybrid fits perfect for Britney Spears. The pin down Squatch yielded 13 boards of total hook with lots of pin carry. This low speed, low rev player performs best when she can keep the angles closed. The Hybrid allows her to do that and still get plenty of hook and down lane motion. The pin-up drilling increased Brittany's total hook by nearly four boards and was a lot more angular down lane. The pin-up and the pin-down drillings offered Brittany a fairly big difference in ball motion. When comparing the Squatch Hybrid to the Squatch Solid, we see a very big difference. The Solid was sooner and stronger, almost too strong for this type of player whereas the hybrid seems to have the perfect combination of hook and continuation. The Squatch Hybrid won't force low rev, low speed players to move out of their comfort zones. Between is like Mark Zucker curve, the Squatch Hybrid ties the whole line together. The pin down Squatch Hybrid offer 22 boards of total hook and nearly five degrees of entry angle while showing strong continuation exiting the pin deck on the 20th board. The Squatch Hybrid allows Mark to stay in his comfort zone longer than when he uses the original Squatch or the Squatch Solid. In reviewing the average stats, you'll notice about 22 boards of total hook with a great continuation. That's a winning combination for Mark. Mark's best reaction is with the pin-up Squatch Hybrid. Slightly more total hook and a steeper angle of entry. The Squatch Hybrid has a bit more mid lane read than the original, but as you can see, it holds pocket on this pattern better than a Squatch Solid. For Tiger Deadwoods, the pins put on a magic act. His pin down Squatch Hybrid stores plenty of energy. Enough energy to send airborne messengers as well as light swishers. The pin down Squatch Hybrid hooks nearly 26 boards. More than enough for this power player. The pin-up Squatch Hybrid is significantly more down lane than the pin-down Squatch Hybrid drilling. Crossing 27 boards and exiting the pin deck on the 20th board, the pin-up Squatch Hybrid is more angular and more continuous. When comparing the pin-up Squatch Hybrid to the Squatch Solid, there was a similar amount of total hook but the difference is where they hook from. The solid is a bit sooner and less angular than the Squatch Hybrid. Both offer a huge amount of hook. For the power players, it's just a matter of preference as to where they want to see it hook from. For heavy-handed players like Ed Sheerhan, the Squatch Hybrid is just another way of demolishing the pin. While the pin down is not nearly as devastating as the pin up, both drilling serve a purpose. It's just a matter of how you want to attack the lanes. Get the Squatch Hybrid and complete the trilogy of the all-time undefeated hide-and-go-seek champions of the world. Wow, that's radical.